Hello, so today I want to talk about something that um, I dealt with most of my life and that's the American dream. I just heard uh, somebody on the radio announce their retirement and they said, you know, they lived the American dream that their parents were first generation immigrants, they never had anything and then this person was able to, you know, make a lot of money and now is able to step away. And my question here, and they were asking this person, whoever's interviewing them, you know, what are you going to do? And they said, oh, I'm going to, I want to help people. I want to help people get the American dream too. That's good. I like that. But here, here's the thing. You know, the, this person felt like the, the way for me is the way for everybody. It's make a bunch of money now so I can retire and spend my time helping others. Well, here's my challenge to that whole thought process because I lived it. And this person was probably in their, I don't know, 50s. Uh, talked about how they didn't get to see their daughter much through these years. So it's like my experience has been American dream. I lived that same thing. But I got off of the merry-go-round when I realized, wait a minute, this isn't true. Living this dream for those many, many years, toiling and working hard for the money, just think of all the years wasted going for the money. All the experiences that you missed. Um, so that's what I discovered. Uh, but again, it's, there's, a, there's a pull in this world, right? It's all about, I got to make the money. The money is the king or the queen, whatever you want to call it. It's not. It is absolutely not. Um, and I know some people, well, I got to be realistic, Bob. You got to pay your bills. Okay. Okay. But if that mindset is keeping you away from your true purpose, your true reason, the true reason that you were put on this earth. Hmm. Think about that a little bit. I'm just saying, think about it, right? It's easy to chase the money because that's what our culture teaches us to do. But you all are not lemmings. You guys don't just do whatever you're told to do. I just say question that a little bit. Money does not bring happiness, does not bring fulfillment, does not bring contentment. Absolutely not. I always say to people, oh yeah, they say, oh, five million dollars. I'd be set. I said, and then what? Then what would you do? Hmm. Hmm. Very revealing. Imagine yourself with a million or whatever that amount is. I don't know what it is. Imagine yourself with that amount of money. And then what would you do? Oh, I'd help people. How would you help people? What specifically would you do? And go down that thought process. Gosh, what would I do? And then the question that a coach asked me years and years ago, one of the first questions, impactful questions of my life was, why aren't you doing those things now? Woo, boom, shakalaka. Yes, convicting. Why aren't you doing those things now? Why do you have to wait until you have X amount of money? Where are you putting your trust? Where are you putting your heart? Are you living a fulfilled life? abundant life by chasing money? I don't think so. So these are just some thoughts. I want to delve more into this kind of stuff. This is what we do at Life Transform. We absolutely do this one-on-one, -on -one, group settings, amazing opportunities to have these sorts of life-altering, new awareness kinds of discussions that I think are the discussions that really impact life. All right, we'll see you next time.